I've gone through my fair share of setting up new Macs and recently I upgraded, so I thought it'd be cool to make a video to show you guys what I install from the get-go. So first and foremost, the one and only time I use Safari is to download Firefox. I'm just kidding, I use Firefox and Safari interchangeably, but Firefox is my primary because there's a few extensions I use that truly make the browser experience a lot better for me. And Firefox has that sync feature which allows you to transfer bookmarks, history, passwords and stuff to a new computer in a matter of seconds. After setting up and installing Firefox, there are two important extensions that I install before doing anything. The first and most important is Adblock. I install uBlock Origin. Till this day, 10 years later, it has never failed me. It's simple and it gets the job done. And as always, you have my blessing to use Adblock on my videos. The next extension I pop on is the Auto Tab Discard. If you're a student or someone who has a million tabs open, then you know how much it can slow the ever living out of your computer. Well, this extension helps with that problem. In simple terms, after some time, it puts all your tabs on pause so that they don't use up any resources. And when you need them, you can just pick them up from where you left off. You can manually discard, which really means you're just putting them to sleep or on pause, or have it set up to discard after a certain timer. This is a huge resource saver and overall make sure that your computer stays speedy. And if you're someone that has all those tabs open, this will really help. The next thing I do is I head over to Objective-C and download Lulu. Now, Objective-C as a whole is an amazing nonprofit company, and I can't believe that this is a free product. The owner is Patrick Wardle, who's a wizard and is very knowledgeable on Mac security and privacy and runs the Objective by the C security conference. So he kind of knows what he's doing. But if you want a better grasp on your privacy and perhaps you enjoy sailing the seven seas in your downtime, I don't judge. With Lulu, you can see what information applications are sending and receiving, and you can set rules to block the connections. This is a must that I consistently recommend to new Mac users. I also recommend you check out their other stuff too, for instance, Oversight is a cool program that lets you monitor what apps are using your mic and camera. And if you're using a MacBook, it's kind of good to have. It's all free and open source stuff and will definitely provide peace of mind. And an additional security and privacy app that I install is Bitwarden, which is an amazing password manager. It's free and it's available on all platforms. So you can save your passwords or any sensitive information and pull it up on your iPhone or Mac or Windows computer. This is an awesome app to use even if you don't want to on your Mac. Just overall, it lets you create more complex passwords and you don't have to sit there and memorize them. You can just use them across all your platforms. Platforms. The next app is Kekka, which is a file archiver. It works fast and effectively, lets you open up compressed files or compress your own if you want to save storage or encrypt them. I've had issues with certain formats in the past with other archivers, but over the past few years I've used Kekka without any issues at all. And on the website, it'll take you to the App Store, but that is not a free version. But if you scroll down to where it says download version blank, that gives you the free download. But it's a great piece of software and I highly recommend it. Next up is a media player for Mac OS. If you're using QuickTime Player, you are doing a lot of things wrong. I've been using Ina, which is a media player for Mac OS. Um, I've had a lot of issues with VLC when playing 4K video files and certain codecs. I came across Ina and I never went back. I'm a hobby filmer, video editor, and so I had a lot of issues playing my raw camera footage on VLC and QuickTime Player, and Ina has been so smooth it has never so much as stuttered when I used it. It's open source and packed with a ton of features like the online subtitles. So if you're watching a movie or a show, you just get your subtitles through there. And the last app is called ItzyCal. It's just more of a quality of life improvement. It's an awesome quick calendar app that allows you to see everything from the menu bar. It's just simple and works seamlessly. It just does what a lot of other paid apps do and I like it. So I thought about sharing it. And that wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any free apps that are on your must have list, please share them below and I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.